Here's an example of hollowing a model to get it ready for 3D printing where you can save resin. First, I like to level the model with the plane. So you can use that with the transform tool and check it in all different directions, and get it nice and level. You'll see when we later get to the extrude feature, we can extrude it right on the Y axis and get a nice straight down pull. So now that we have it leveled using the select tool, you can click and draw a polygon shape to select different parts of the model. So I like to select all the areas I'm planning on getting rid of and just carefully moving right around the model until you've got everything selected. The key thing is holding down the shift button on your keyboard as you add each of these that's how you're able to continually select and then i like to use the smooth boundary tool to create a nice smooth surface that makes it so that when you extrude the walls of your extrusion are smooth which saves on uh, the geometry and makes the calculations much easier so as we go into extrude, we change the direction to the y-axis and make it a flat cut and then change the offset to something excessive and you'll see why in a little bit. After we've done this, then you can go in and use the hollow tool. I like changing the wall thickness to one and a half millimeters. It defaults to two millimeters, but you can easily change it to whatever you want. After you do that, you can click Update Hollow to get a new preview of what it's going to be. Then you can choose where the holes are going to be, and I like putting them right on the base because then I'm going to come through and I'm going to plane cut it. And so you can kind of click down to where you want the plane to cut. Check on the bottom and make sure you see that it's going to cut and close those edges. Accept your plane cut, and there you go. You're ready to go, and then you can export it out uh, and send it over to the 3D printer. And you do want to make sure then that you're printing with supports.